Eel grass grows in the ocean and bay along the California coast, and the San Diego Bay is home to some of the largest grass beds in the state. What makes it so important is how much carbon dioxide it can absorb from the atmosphere. Now the Port of San Diego is working with the Navy to improve our eelgrass beds. In this Earth 8 report, meteorologist Sean Stiles shows us what they plan to do. It was just over a year ago that we told you about a study that the port was doing through help with the Maritime Administration looking at carbon sequestration through eelgrass in the bay. Well, that report came back with very positive information, so much so that the Maritime Administration has decided to fund a second year. We looked at the carbon sequestration in both the sediment and in eelgrass in the bay. Uh, this year, $150,000. Last year was 175,000, and we have a five-year agreement with them to be looked at annually. Eileen Maher is the Director of Environmental Conservation for the Port of San Diego. Our first year results are very positive about how much carbon is being sequestered within San Diego Bay and specifically within eelgrass beds. It's estimated that San Diego Bay has over 2,600 acres of eelgrass beds. San Diego Bay has about 50% of the eelgrass in Southern California and about 17% in the state of California. So we have quite a bit in comparison to other portions of other bays. With that much acreage of eelgrass beds in the bay, the capacity to capture and store carbon dioxide is remarkable. The ocean does naturally, but the eelgrass and the sediment within the bay are holding about 1.7 million metric tons of CO2. That's the equivalent of the amount of carbon put out by 370,000 cars on an annual basis. This next phase of the study will be looking at eelgrass beds on Navy property. Uh, they have some eelgrass beds that were restored decades ago, and we're finding that the older the eelgrass bed, the more carbon that's being absorbed. The port is able to determine the amount of carbon being stored through sediment core samples it takes. We're taking um, about a one meter length of sediment sample straight down into the bay bottom and we're looking at that core sample and we'll have that analyzed for how much carbon is in it. And what the San Diego Bay Blue Carbon Study continues to prove is that the bay is a great tool in carbon sequestration. It's a great incentive to go out and plant more eelgrass to help in the future sequester all that carbon. Now in the second year of potentially a five-year study, the Maritime Administration has agreed to continue the funding possibly over the next three years. We'll send it back to you in the studio. You know, it's fascinating to think mm -hmm. we spend time out there on the bay to know what's going on underneath the surface that's providing so much good up above the surface. Yeah, it is. It's truly amazing how Mother Nature can heal pretty quickly. So and the amount of, <laughs> of CO2 that those plants are holding there. 300,000 That was annual. the part. That's amazing. It, so the, the, the port is looking to expand these eelgrass beds, mainly in the southern part of the bay on the western side, because this is where those beds were kind of broken down. And if they mm -hmm. can get more planted beds in there, just think how much more carbon they can sequester from the atmosphere. That's Pretty good news. news there. That's great that they're going to yeah. expand that. Anything that we need to do, you know, when we're out there and <laughs> or um, you know, the eel grass is a plant, so if you're in and around eel beds, try not to trample mm -hmm. through them. And the other thing, too, is what's great about them is it's a nursery for all the little fish oh. and other animals out there. So if you're wandering through them, you might be stepping on some little creature that's helping right. the eel grass beds grow. Do the dog paddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep an eye out. Thanks, yeah. Sean. Thanks, Sean.